Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So we are back again with Free Rin, episode 25, you guys. After this, we have only three more episodes to go. I really hope it gets renewed for a season two. I'm sure it will. It's being received quite well from what I have seen. So I really hope it gets renewed for a season two, but I'm not sure, be like considering all the animes that are coming out and stuff. But, you know, we can only hope. However, we shall enjoy it while it lasts. And last time, we saw Yubel in action. I like her dynamic with Land. I like to call him Megane-kun because that's what Yubel calls him and it's pretty funny. So I like their dynamic of them, how she's always trying to sympathize with him so she can copy his uh, magic. I wonder though if they're going to try and push this beyond her just trying to copy his magic because they are spending a lot of time. I'm not sure if there are any like... Uh, romantic uh, things going on there or there might be later on i don't think there are right now but I, there might be later on but i'm not sure um i mean you know if it does happen it happens if not then oh well whatever i don't really care too much but i like them together it's cute but we also saw that free Rin, fern and sense they met up with denkin richter lofin and method after denkin's group got chased out by the fake free Rin, after like one attack they said yeah we're not doing this anymore and then, so they were trying to plan how to defeat this fake Freerin. I want to see Freerin fight herself, but obviously that will be difficult because they, those two will be evenly matched. So even if our Freerin does win, she will get injured and we don't want that. So Fern said, you know, I think I could beat her. So we are coming up with a strategy surrounding Fern. I wonder what's going to happen in this one. We also saw a little bit of Kane and Lavine. I hope they make it too. I really want to see them progress further because this is the second st uh, test. So I hope they make it to the third one. I hope they pass as well. They're cool. I like them. And I'm excited to get into this. You guys also, Edel, the girl that Method was talking about who specializes in uh, hypnotism magic. She ran, her group ran into Sense, like the fake Sense. Edel got like impaled through the chest. She, ran, she broke the bottle and had the golem carry her out. And she told her other two teammates to run and meet up with other people. So I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder if that replica will chase them. Because if it does, it will become difficult if they end up meeting up with Freerin's group. Because they have to deal with fake Freerin on one side and fake Sense on the other. Initially, I thought that it would be kind of unfair if they have to fight the Proctor or a fake Proctor. But then I realized these people are taking this exam to get basically the same title as the Proctors. So if more than at least like two or more of you can't defeat one of them then is there really a point in becoming uh, a first class mage i'm not sure but i'm excited to get into this you guys if you guys enjoy it consider leaving a like commenting if you're new here you guys consider subscribing let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below my full uncut and early reactions are available on my patreon the link will be in the description as well as the pinned comment down below feel free to check that out and you guys, without further ado, let's get right on into Free Run Beyond Journeys and Season 1, Episode 25. We got a little bit of a recap going. What is this? Undead Unlock? Consider the possibility. Think he's looking at his fist like, yo, maybe I should hop up in there. That's a wild thing to say. <laughs> Look at her. Hi. Like, oh. Wait, she's thinking of Siri. What? This is new. That's interesting that she thought of Siri. Wait. Just... Nah, these guys are like Roy Idols out of here. Wait, who is that? Oh yeah, that's one of the homeboys with the idol, right? <laughs> Yo. Yo, sense is cracked. Look at this. She's so sick. Like, if you think about it, like, she is... That's very noble of you, bro. I would have dragged him down with me. Hey. Nah, bro. Neither of us passing is better. If I can't win, you're not winning, bro. What can't you do, Method? Her V is slowly becoming one of my favorite V's, I can't lie. 
Oh, Meta's right or Sense is right there. Hi. Edel san no mitata dewa. Kokoro no hataraki o semitz ni moho shiter dake de. Kokoro sono mono wa nai so desu. Ichiban no mondai wa. Ano fukse taito sono jis shan. Yeah, I might wanna look at uh, Sense real quick. Taste ga wa karan mama te wa dasen. ニコルに。複製体特有の弱点は本当にないのかな。仮にあの複製体がフリーレンと同じ実力なら、Oh, you got the little scoop. True, I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, old man. Treasure room on the other. Oh, wow. So here it has Freerin guarding it. Let Freerin and Fern fight Freerin, and then the rest of you guys go kill. Interesting. Monster. だがあの扉には強力な雰囲気が施されている。フェアなんどえ。それは私も確認している。私の複製体の仕業だね。なんどえ。ことはない。ガルパクフェイクフェイクフェアンアパール。どういうことだ。うん。Ah, you're loving you're so useful. Will their replicas be here too? I あってもいいですかうん。うん。ファイン。よ、ファイン。よ、ファイン、ウォッタホ。わあ、ファイン、カスタクイック。気がつきましたか。アイディンノーディスキニ。いや、リドル。いや。確かにこれは フリーレンの致命的な。そう、だ、ストタイル。なぜ戦っている時に気がつかなかったんだ。スパンヤズモーヘムデンユーブロ。手だれという先入観が。フェンドゼンケアハクスペリンスユーアシーズヘイ。
What? what? Okay. Bro, you have the original with you. You know, like, realistically, with that many things, theoretically, you should be able to win. Oh, it's just these two. I did say that at first. I was like, you throw these two in there. Ah, smart. Yo, this is scary. Oh, that's Kane and Levine. Bro, oh, method. She's floating. Oh, no, she's standing there. Oh, yeah, this is so badass. Let's go. <laughs> Their weakest matchups. Kanye doesn't have water here, bro. That girl is. Brami. Look at them. Wow. Okay, this is sick. <laughs> Who? Yo, what is this? Oh my god. Yo, this is epic. Holy shit. Burned at that. Oh my. Yo! Yo, this is so epic. What is this? Yeah, Freyrin is predicting herself, bro. Freyrin! No one was. I can be wow free written no one knows better than me how frightening i can be quickest spell there is Ooh, you gotta get one off real quick look at her back there putting wb moves oh wow right Right, because you can't do it uh, by reflex. It's nothing special. Oh my god. Yeah, because she grew up doing it. You're being, yes, but. Oh wow. Yo! <laughs> oh wow. Dead. Imagine both of them. She's so wow, she's so sick. Why have you come to see me? Parent and Julie is having the CMBA is lit. Does she visited her after film? No whim, that's crazy. Magical. Well, I wonder if we'll get to meet the Emperor. Magic to be technique used. Well, I managed to. Hmm. Yeah, she does have the whole Ah. Yeah, because they'll be like, if one empire is learning it, then we have to learn it too, or we can't defend it ourselves. Oh, wow. Not what I want. Yo, quick, she is. Just, yo, fuck all that. Leave? It'd be special. And Freedom thinks the exact opposite. You know what I want to learn more about? I want to learn about Flam and... As, as obviously we know uh, Freedom and Syria are uh, elves. So they have a lot of mana and stuff like that. But I really want to know who uh, like Flam's like backstory and like her or origins. Why was she like so good that they regard her as a legendary mage? And even Siri was like, yo, she has so much talent and, you know, stuff like this. I really want to, I hope, if not in this manga, I hope we get like a little spin-off series where we didn't learn more about, or we explore more about Flam's background, like her backstory when she was like a child and where she was born. Maybe her family was, maybe she was from, from like, a, you know, uh, an important, a very strong lineage. I don't know. That'd be cool. And I trained on a whim.
I mean, she says it, she keeps saying that, so I think it was none of him. She knew. <laughs> she knew she was going to get hurt. 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 Oh, y'all are about to meet. Walk with me a little. I have all the time in the world. I like how both of them have like similar hairstyles. Hers are just shorter because she's younger, I guess. Wait, that's what she said. Mm. Oh, oh, wow, we're seeing her as a kid. The one with the flowers that she put around her. Aw, <laughs> little flam. That's cute. Oh, a little frog. <clears throat> okay, we need to know more. We need to learn more about her. It disgusted me. Oh, she's looking a little... Uh, she's holding her hand. I look much shorter than me. How did you meet her? I really want to learn so much more about Flam. Because <laughs> she didn't have that much time. Imagine if she could live as long as like Furian or Furian. Oh, that's crazy, A mere thousand years. This was like 30 years ago, approximately. To overtake us. Uh. Damn. Yo, she. Wow. E either the Demon King? Or you? Or a human mage? Oh, Siri. Oh, that's what she's talking about, Fern. Oh, wow. Siri. And she's saying Fern can do Wow. Bro, this is so good. Yo, this is so sick. Yo, she's not flinching. She's smiling. Yes, sir. Fern. My goat. Damn. Yo, Fern is so badass. And you... Yeah, there it is. So you guys, that was episode 25 of Free Run Beyond Journey's End. A very fun episode. We, we, re we saw that Fern didn't really have a crazy plan for being able to beat Free Run. She just volunteered. And then Fern actually ended up finding out Free Run's uh, vulner vulnerability. Sorry. And that was that when she's casting a spell, she's not detecting mana, which she was free and knew about, but she was too embarrassed to talk about it. So, Fern and Freewin devised a plan that those two will be the only ones that go inside to face fake Freewin. And while Freewin is keeping herself busy, Fern will atta like attack her. <clears throat> and Freewin said something interesting, uh, which makes sense, obviously, is that she said, I know how terrifying I can be. And I know that uh, the fake me is not going to pay attention to Fern when she's fighting somebody that's equally as strong as her. And I found that to be so badass. Especially when Fern was like, yo, after all, I'm the one that knows the best how terrifying I can be. That, that gave me chills. And then we got a little flashback to when Fern went to visit Siri after Flamme passed away. Or Flam, sorry. And it was interesting. Flam was, I, like I said, I really want to learn more about her. And why she had the ideals she had. We saw little Flamme. She was so cute. But I really want to know why Flamme. Like some people obviously just have a dream. Oh, I don't. I want to advance uh, like humanity. But I really want to learn more about her. 
and like her story and her life and like who her family was her parents and stuff like that and maybe there is something i i don't know i just feel like there will be a lot more to her because she seemed like there was she had a lot going on like she had experiences in life and i i, I really want hope that we get uh, some sort of uh, uh insight on uh, flam's like her backstory and her childhood and stuff but we saw a little flam which was cute when syria and freer and were walking and we find out that flam managed to convince the emperor to let humans study magic which previously was looked upon as something only demons do and then siri was saying that well once this empire does it then the surrounding nations will do it because they're gonna think that uh, this empire that's studying magic will have a crazy advantage if a war breaks out which makes sense obviously and then siri predicted that you know it's going to be a long time before us it won't be that long but we will see that you know humans will end up surpassing us and she says something in the end that was obviously a callback to friend where she's like Freyan, um, focus on your training and she's like if you ever die it'll either the demon king will kill you or it'll be a human mage and then we saw a little um low flash of when uh, friend was training and i thought that was so crazy you guys the links are really good like you know obviously i i like the writing in free it's really good you know there are a lot of subtle moments that you have to really pay attention to but that's what makes it great you know that you actually have to pay attention and i love stories like that where you actually have to pay attention to pick up the things that the author is trying to point out but i found this episode to be really really fun we managed to be well i mean it, i'm sure we did but we didn't get to see big free and getting decimated but i mean kind of did like you know she she we saw the same flash that uh we see on like enemies that are getting cooked and we saw something interesting lovine showed up and she knew about the spiegel and how it creates uh the the replicas because her brother and his like group with like the magic magical continental association uh they went on an expedition through this uh, dungeon and her brother told her about it <clears throat> And then another thing that was crazy is that the replicas show up and they actually gather at the bottom floor eventually. So I feel like what's going to happen next episode is Fern and Freyan are going to go quickly destroy the Spiegel. They're going to go back and open the door. And then I see Nekin and them are going to be pretty beat up, but they'll be okay. I hope so anyways. I don't want any of them to die. I think all of them are cool. Like Richter, all of them. So I think it was cool. I like this episode a lot, you guys. So if you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like, commenting. If you're new here, you guys subscribing let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below full uncut and early reactions are available on my patreon the link will be in the description as well as a pinned comment down below feel free to check that out you guys and as always i will catch you guys in the next one